genocide since the Holocaust. If we had known ahead of time about the genocide in Rwanda, what would we have done? The last time Sudan had a civil war, two million people died. We know now, ahead of time, that Sudan faces another life or death situation. For the people of Sudan, the largest country on the African continent, these months will end with a referendum for the people of Southern Sudan to remain united to the larger Sudan or to declare their own independence. There is that possibility for secession of the South. And therefore, the danger is that either we can have two separate states, independent states, or there could be another return to war. Two million people died in the last phase of the Civil War. Currently, three and a half million people are in need of food aid in Darfur. Sudan, if it does go badly, is surrounded by nine neighbors who would likely be drawn into that conflict, a conflict of a magnitude and scale that would make Rwanda and Darfur look manageable. As Catholics, we're called to protect human life and dignity, to protect the weak and to be peacemakers. The Catholic community in the United States has a chance to help save lives in Sudan, to ensure that our brothers and sisters have the opportunity to move forward and not fall back into war. The church tries always to be the voice of the voiceless, uh, the mouthpiece of those unable to speak, for us in the Sudan, there is hope. The church has been there and has sought assistance from the international community and from church-based organizations. Working with the church in Sudan, CRS has developed a $4 million program to engage the Sudanese people in building peace over the next couple of years. Here in the United States, we're working with the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops through Catholics Confront Global Poverty to urge Catholics to pray, learn, advocate, and give to support peace in Sudan. And at this moment, we are working with the CRS with, this, with the project of stopping uh, the war, uh, of preventing it. CRS and USCCB can't do this alone. The Sudanese people can't do this alone. We're asking you, through Catholics Confront Global Poverty, to get involved and help promote peace in Sudan. Pray now for peace in Sudan. The power of prayer is essential. Learn now about Sudan and share what you learn with others to bring even more attention to this urgent situation. Advocate now for peace in Sudan. Tell your elected officials that their attention to Sudan is needed now. Give now to support CRS and the Sudanese Church to help the people of Sudan build peace. We call upon you, the Catholic community in the United States, to join us in our efforts to support peace in Sudan. The people of Sudan want peace. As Catholics, we are called to be instruments of peace. This is your chance. We must act now. At the end of the Holocaust in Europe, the world vowed never again. After Rwanda, the world said never again. Now is the time to raise our voices and to intervene in Sudan, because never again begins now. <laughs>